guns. Technically, they're called blunderbusses, but what are we, British? The new weapon introduced in the Sins of Flesh update. It does what you expect a gun to do. It shoots things. So, as a true American, I'm gonna see if that could be cold to land with guns only. And we're just gonna be starting this off by going straight into Darkwood. There's not really much setup because all we need is a gun. As you can see, we did not get one. But when we don't get a gun, what we can do is main menu. I'm gonna load back up the save. And it should, yup, in theory, change the gun. So yeah, pretty simple. Gun only. It shouldn't be that bad because I do think the gun is pretty good. But to ignore all that weird stuff, because we're fighting Emdusius. And here they are. We're just gonna shoot, dodge away, on repeat. Bam! See, easy peasy, nice damage. Okay, and we're back. And then with our money we just got, we want to build our shrine right here. And then accept this follower so I could get some devotion. And here we go. One devotion, get the temple, and we can start with a sermon. Too bad we didn't level up. <laughs> what the f***? Okay, I guess we'll come back to this. And for now, we're going to be going back to Darkwood, badly having to save and quit. Oh my god, finally. It took forever to get, uh, come back and get this gun. But we're just going on crusades because we want to get more followers. And quite nice because we do have a follower room, although we have to fight for the chicken. Okay, just blast through these guys. It is nice that most up-close shots do insta-kill. <laughs> So that's a plus with the gun. It's like a shotgun, pretty much. But here we are, chicken in the cult. Very nice. Okay, let's see what Valfar has to say with my faster gun. Jump, jump. And then we're gonna actually pause time. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oi! Run some more. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to keep my distance because of this. And he's dead. Sheesh, I should have gotten closer. That did so much damage. Okay, accept Bowler Jilter, or however you say that name. <laughs> and then also Valpar. Okay, and then perform a sermon with all our new followers. And then Hearts of the Faithful. Bam. And too bad we couldn't get a second. God damn it. Oh, but that guy leveled up. But we did get a Doctrine Stone. So we can get the Bonfire Ritual. So we could finally start unlocking Doctrines. Okay, and then once again, back on a crusade to Darkwood. Finally, oh my god. Getting this blunderbuss actually takes way too long. Not worth it. Ah, uh, great. Even worse, we have to now fight Leshy. Lackey Gauntlet. Should be still easy though, like, bam. Bam. Especially since I can just shotgun them from so close up. I love how these guys just stay, because I can just shoot them from a the distance. Um Easy peasy, not even a sweat. And we're ready in the boss fight. Barbados. One, two, three, four, quite nice. Get up all close and personal with my gun. And he should be dead this time around. One more bullet! Oh, I can't believe I missed that, oh my gosh. Barbados, down for the count. Okay, now that we're back, do a sermon. Level up some more weapons. We're gonna get Bane weapons, since I'd say it kind of increases our chance to get a gun. It will be the same amount of guns, but I could just get a better gun, so it doesn't really change that much, but yeah. Okay, and with our Bane weapons, we're just gonna go back in to whip Leshy's butt. Okay, I think something is messed up in my loot pool, because this is like the seventh time I've gotten the Bane Axe, and the Bane Axe specifically. I guess what I should do is I'll meditate to pass the day so I could, um, so I could do another sermon so I could unlock better weapons to maybe change the weapon I keep getting. Okay, next day, and we're able to level up and get my Devout 1, and then let's actually check if it fixed my problem. It has not. I still have an axe, but it's just number four. Yeah. Second time in, still an axe. I guess we're waiting a whole nother day for another sermon. Okay, next day, sermon time, and we could get Kudai's Blessing. We resummon a weapon or curse, but its level will be reduced by one, only works in the entrance room. Which is fine, because I need a gun at the first room anyways, so... Bam! And then another thing I'm gonna do, first doctrine. We're gonna go for possessions, and we're gonna go with extort these. Thieves. I don't even know how to pronounce this word. Because we want this because it costs 50 gold to use Kudai's Blessing. And we only have 101. But we could get 5 coins. Oh, they upgraded it. It used to be 3. So we could go to each follower, get 5 coins. Which we have 6, so that should be 30. Which is like halfway there-ish. And yeah, Bainax a freaking gan. Hopefully this could work. Oh! First try, actually. Nice. So we got our blunderbuss. Freaking finally. No one wants that stupid Bainax. And we could finally get on with killing Leshy. Oh. 
And here is the fisherman, quite nice, because we can get some cards from him, which we'll be getting after this. And here is the Leshy boss fight. Okay, let's go Leshy time. I think how I'll do this is I'll put three bolts in him. One, two, three. Freeze time before he could leave. Three more bullets. Oi! Getting real close to me. Now you should go into the center to spawn more enemies. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Spawn more enemies. You! I can't believe that guy hit me. Okay, and he should be dead right now. There we go. God damn it, that guy ruined my flawless fleshy fight. There we go. Part of a heretic. First boss down. What? I, I got the no damage bonus, but I, I was hit. I'm 100% sure I was hit. And to celebrate my portal no damage, we celebrate with the heart. Okay, and since we beat Leshy, we can get one of these, which we want to get Omnipresence. Focus while on Crusade to return instantly back to your base, which would be nice. Because instead of having to quit out, we could just leave, which would be a very nicer thing. And the next, we're going to open up Anura, and let's get going. Okay, this is the third time we've gotten this dagger, and I'm pretty sure what I could do is... Honey presence. We leave. And yep, like I thought, it changed the weapon. So we could do this. And get. <laughs> okay, here's Goosian. He's about to taste some blood. Oh, I do think he does shoot back. Yeah, he does. He's like my counterpart. Death Ride don't lay eggs. Okay, just shoot him, shoot him. Sh what the f? Can't believe that little gremlin got me. That sucks because it's kind of hard to get close to him because. Wait, 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 go back. What the hell's happening? I was hit twice and lost no health. Don't tell me, uh, please don't tell me. Oh my god! I've been playing with this sh the entire time. Uh, pretend that wasn't in the video. And very nice, we have the sell in chest, because then if we are out of money to use Kudai's blessing, we just sell like follower meat for a good price. And yeah, that's it really. Okay, then just back into a Neuro. Oh, what the f- We got Sport Grotto. Pretty nice. I think we could get a card here. I actually forgot to get a card from Pilgrim Passage. We'll grab that after this. Okay, and here we are with Elios. Could be a decent fight. Only problem is all these things, but should be able to avoid them by just walking away. I can't believe I got hit there. That's actually so annoying. Okay, now that we're back, we want to leave, go to Pilgrim Passage, go to the lighthouse, then give them 15 wood to fuel the furnace, and we could buy some cards. So we want, we want to get the All Seeing Sun, 20% more damage during the day, just so we could deal more damage with their gun. And then we want to head over to the Support Grotto and buy the All Seeing Moon, or no, the Weeping Moon. Here we go, 30% more damage during the night. And then we're also going to buy the Path, just so we're a little faster. I swear I've never seen, I've never seen a discount, ever. That's cool. Oh! And we just came back to our coal. I didn't even know I could get this. Get some weapon mastery, which actually would be very good for a gun. Okay, back into Anura. And it's very nice because we actually unlocked heavy attacks and we could do some of this action, which will make fighting enemies way easier. Okay, and for Zapar, hopefully this heavy attack is good. You like get up all close and get stomped. Great. I should have moved. I don't think it changes. Oh wait, I'm out of further. What the f I didn't think it would cost this much forward to shoot a ton of heavy attacks. There we go. I'm not sure if it charges up and does more damage or if it's just you could shoot further. Before we go to fight Hecate, we're gonna wait an entire day. I'm trying to get a Doctrine Stone, which we should be able to get the third version of Possessions. And we want Ritual of Enrichment, because we want a ton of money so we could use Kudai's Blessing more. We should get at least like 200 maybe? Let's see. We got only 83. Yeah, I think they nerfed this too. And let's just go fight Hecate. There we go. Hopefully she jumps backwards. Excuse me. Yup. Got the good stuff. Dodge that. Then we're just gonna spam. Oh, we don't have fervor. Fuck all this stuff. No, my God. It was I was one shot away from killing her because I don't have any fervor. Okay, let's just try to not take damage. Deal with these apars. Oh, and we just collided her when she came back. Grab this, and we could skedaddle. 
And then with Hecate's heart, we'll just get Darkness Within, I guess. Because I'll always have a Disease Heart every time I go into a Crusade. And then let's do a Sermon 2, which is nice because we actually want to go buy some Fervor the Righteous. So I need more Fervor. I need to get those heavy attacks. Okay, and with Hecate down, we're actually going to go to Silk Cradle. And we're going here because we want something from it. And <laughs> nice, since we're at the third bishop, we'll go this way because we can get two items. I'm more fun to cotton for clothes. Okay, first boss, Oklar, and we could run up, do some of these heavy attacks. I'll watch out for those guys. Okay, come back down, dodge those projectiles. Okay, speaking of watching out for them, and I get hit by them. But they're dead. Stupid damn spider, I thought I was walking, not charging the attack me. Oh. Here we finally are. This is what we wanted Tilt Cradle for. Midas Cave. Very nice. And uh, yeah, we'll visit this after we are done with this crusade. Oh, but in the meantime, we could go here for Hops, and then here for Bariff, I think her name was. Darling, you look so drab. And then we get the Tailor, and we don't even have enough gold, so, um, what a shame. Okay, here is Vephar. I actually want to try something. So I think when you shoot the gun, it does, like, like a permanent laser. Yeah, it does. When I shoot Vephar once, it continuously hits him for some reason. Like, look. That's... Well, with the heavy attack, at least. But actually, I think it does it with the normal, too. <laughs> Which completely shreds him. I don't even know if that's a glitch, or if that's intentional. We're going to go to Midas Cave. We actually don't have any gold right now, so that kind of sucks. But we could do other business here, which is the sacrifice followers. We're going to go for the level 1 followers. Turn this guy to gold. Yeah, sucks for you. And then we could get a nice talisman fragment. And then we're just going to do this for three more followers. And I think that's the fourth one. Very nice. And it's no longer a fragment, but a full talisman. And then let's skedaddle. And we want the golden fleece. So we can do more damage with our gun. But I don't really take that much damage, but I want to do more damage. Okay, here is Horus. We have a 300% multiplier, so we should do some decent damage. Oh, I almost got hit there. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So this bonus is helping with the damage. I guess to prepare for the Shimura fight, we're actually going to get Demonic Summoning Circle, and then we're going to bid the Bow and Arrow one, where we gain more fervor. Oh yeah, automatically click drop fervor. Okay, we're just going to do Eligos, and very nice. Okay, then let's just go back into Silk Cradle for the final boss. Okay, let's get this bread. We're going to shoot three of these. Actually did hella damage, and then just lay into them with bullets. Grab one of these, so once they're out of invincibility, we can shoot them. Do some of that. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, this damage bonus is insane. And with our new victory, we are going to go instantly spend that heart. Oh, what the f- <laughs> We unlocked the Sins of Flesh stuff too. Okay, here we go. Everything unlocked. And then Sin 1. We are going to get the uh, Rite of Wrath. Test this one out, because I actually have never used it before. And we will make the Wrath Bearer the old man. <laughs> <gasps> what the hell? Okay, two of them are fighting. This guy's all beat up now. The uh, Horus has the coward tray, and they beat the crap out of this guy's tent. What is wrong with them? Oh my god, two tents? That's a lot. Okay, that's not that bad. And one full sin? Yep, yep, yep. And then... Temple, and get Icon 1. Quite nice. Okay, and now we could unlock Anchor Deep. Time for the boss fight with Salios. Shouldn't be that hard, because I have... Okay, I was instantly hit. Okay, I could do this. Just to do this. What the f What did I just get hit by? He's literally frozen. Okay, and here is Haborm. Hit me that hard, and... Why does I say that? I instantly get hit. Alright, let's freeze them up. Not get hit again. Kill these guys so I could build up my damage. And then... What? How... What? Did he just blow himself up? What happened? <laughs> okay, then back in our cult, we are going to Doctrine. And that allows us to get Sin number 3, which is good because I've just been fighting and I want Violent Extremist. Chance of Sin appearing as a reward from a mini boss, which will be helpful since this will be a passive way to get Sin. Plumbo! Wait, this is actually kind of nice that we found Plumbo, because we can get a relic from him, but that'll be done later. Because for now, we are fighting Bezor Bob. Boom. Oh, it's actually pretty nice because it keeps Bezel Bob away from me. 
And he's dead. <laughs> and uh, look, our document is coming into play. Because we get Sin. And then we could head on over to Smuggler Sanctuary. Because over here, we could tickle the fish. Okay, and that gives us Kudasinger now. Summon a new weapon with an increased level. Which is good when we get a sword. We could change it out for a gun. Quite nice though. Okay, and we're just gonna go back in. Oh, sweet! Who dies fingernail? I did not mean to click that, but thank god I got another gun. Oh my god. I meant to dodge into them to d do that. I accidentally freaking press Q, my relic button. And here is the Calamar boss fight. Okay, bullets versus bullets. Whose bullets are stronger? Let's go. So we have to watch out for his bell attack. Oh, we don't even have to watch out for any attack because my bullets are stronger. <laughs> uh, 680% damage bonus is really helping. And here's the one who waits. He's going to be waiting for a bullet through his third eye. <laughs> and what we could do is do a ritual and then sacrifice a flush. No old people shall live in my cult. Yep. Out of here. Yeah, we get a full another level to get my as of out. And then we can get blunderbuss mastery, but I'd have to wait another day for that. And wait another day I did, because we could get Blunderbuss Mastery. BAM! Increases the range and damage of the Blunderbuss. Before we go in, we are going to try summoning Elgos. And here we go, unlocking the final area. Okay, here we are. And what's really nice is I actually can bring my demon in here. Ooh, a little update. And then we have a nice little gun to shoot the one who waits. Okay, first one, Bar. We're just gonna dodge, shoot. Actually, we have a... Uh, Mastery right now, so we could shoot from further. Like, bam! Just do this some of this. You! <laughs> you thought. And then I'm is next. I'm is a little more dangerous because then he's gonna do all this stuff that we should avoid. Um, uh, ouch. Of course, I got hit there. I can't believe that other one got me too. <laughs> shoot him down though. No more of that business. One who waits shall get shot. Took away a third of his health. Holy! Oh my god, that did like half of his health! Okay, uh, phase two. Get out of here. Okay, and then get ready for this fight. Then we can line up the eyeballs to do some more damage. And then we're just gonna unload on that one. Watch all these. Shoot this one. Full bullets. Okay, we probably could just kill them with normal attacks instead of the heavy ones. In fact, with this thing, you could just sit here and dodge this. Such a scary move, don't you think? Ouch. Except for that one, I guess. Heavy <laughs> attack, spam the rest of those. Now we can sit here in the middle and shoot it from here. Very nice. One who waits is down. And then we are going to... Well, all I gotta say is the one who waits tried to take my crown. My crown is my gun, so, um... <gasps> no one's touching my gun, you... Okay, and then we are back with the... Mystery God. So right off the bat, we are not going to be going into Darkwood first. We're actually going to be going to Anura. So let's grab us a level four follower. We'll do Gusian because he is very old, very old and very dead. And same old, same old, but with just harder bosses. Oh, what the frick? Oh, uh, this bat then. That freaking sucks because I was literally just hit. Oh, but it doesn't matter because we're dead. Blunderbuss Mastery is really doing good for this gun. Okay, Elgos Part 2, aka Easy Win Part 2. I'll have to run. Okay, silence all those things. Ah, goddammit, I got hit. <laughs> oh, I love fighting Elgos. What, what the f- Why'd they just- What? They just had a sudden heart attack and died, apparently, but- <laughs> Nice, easy god tier. Okay, here is Gusian part two. We're gonna fill him with lead. Get up close, and personal. Okay, well, it doesn't matter now how close and personal we are because we got hit, so I lost my bonus. And okay, I think I should start focusing on using heavy attacks. Okay, and then Zafar, the final mini boss of an era. Okay, let's heavy attack him up, and they're dead. Okay, and prepare for the Hecate fight. We are just going to put on Magger. Here's Hecate, part two. Good thing I got hit right before the boss fight, so <laughs> my damage multiplier freaking sucks. But nothing heavy attacks can't do. Which they are doing. They are doing! <laughs> They're doing damage. Nice and easy. Hecate acquired. We are going to accept Hecate. And then we want to go make her food real quick. And now she's going to give me this quest. Lamb, Anura hides something. Go back into Anura to get Hecate's throat. And here we are. 
Hecate's throat. And this is all we need. We are going to escape out of here. Okay, and then before we go back into a crusade, we're actually going to talk to the mystery god. We haven't claimed our god tiers yet. Should have five. We're going to name him America. And then let's claim all our god tiers. And then we want talisman fragments. That would be the most helpful. But we get these, sadly. Three in a row. I'm ecstatic. Four in a row. Odds on five. Five in a row. This is so cool, guys. I love getting five of these in a row. Will it be six? Let's see. Okay, then for now, I'm just gonna go back to Darkwood. With Nisagoras, this is actually pretty good. Because they're dead. Oh. I almost escaped. And this is good because we actually want their Eye of Witness, and we'll use it after the Crusade. Here is Valfar. We're gonna do some hops, and then we're gonna shoot them. Oh my god! What the f I can't believe I'm dodging this! <laughs> ah! Damn, I almost did that hitless. Frick! Okay, and then since we killed that Witness, what we want to do is go to Smuggler Sanctuary, pluck up Plimbo right here, and give him both Witness Eyes, so we can get some more Talisman Fragments. Okay, there we go. There's half of one at least. And then we're gonna leave and go to Spore Grotto and give Sozo mushrooms for the rest of the other half of it. Boom, bada, bing, full talisman fragment. And with that, we are going to unlock the Fleece of the Berserker. One hit, no resurrections, deal 10 times damage, which I usually try not to get hit with the gun, which is weird, I don't know why I do it. But the 10 times damage will make it like the shotgun of death. Okay, and I guess what better than to test it on the Leshy statue? Do some of this. Right. Great. Two digging monsters. It seems like a normal shot could one shot most mobs, as you can see. And then I could do this to get like literally like all of them. But do some of this. All that. Some of this. Eviscerated. Actually, though, this is really good with the gun. Oh my god. Let's test it on a boss next. And Gusius too. We need to kill him fast, or else he will kill me. Oh my god. Speaking of killing him fast, two shots and he's dead. Okay, and here we are for Barbados. We're gonna shoot him with a heavy attack. Oh. Oh my god, he just killed that squirrel. Heavy attack and then, yeah, just kill him. That's what he gets for doing that to the squirrel. Okay, and just go straight back in for Leshy. Okay, here is the Leshy boss fight. How this is gonna go is I'm gonna step into the boss fight, instantly activate Hecate's throat, and heavy attack him from a meter away, blowing his head off instantly, winning with one shot. Watch. Watch this. And then watch, 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 watch. Take his throw. Get really close. Full BAM! Well, it's a two shot because this game blows and you can't kill a boss instantly, but pretty much one shot Leshy. Okay, and next we are going to unlock Silk Cradle. Okay, get uh, Yarb, level 10. Get out of here. Oh my god. Horus randomly in a mystery room. Kill him before this gets me! Easy peasy, not even a problem. Witness a la core. Witness this gun! Oh my god, they're actually about to do something crazy. I probably would have been hit there if I didn't shoot that second bullet. Oh, bought Horus 1 and here's Horus 2. Kind of funny, actually. And they're dead. <laughs> okay, and here is uh, Folklar 2. Do this, and freeze them. They don't look really frozen to me, but they're dead. <laughs> okay, and then the far number two. Should be easy, because we could do this, and then he dies instantly. Okay, and then before we go on a crusade, we are going to be getting Bezelbub. So we can get some free Farvar. Okay, here's Shimura. About to get a heavy attack first. Jesus Christ, that damage. Uh, okay, we're going to wait for them to stop doing this. <gasps> oh my god! Freeze. And then kill them. Oh my god, I didn't think they'd do the shooting version of it. I almost died there. <laughs> okay, and then for our final last one, we'll be just Anchor Deep. I don't think there's anything else but fighting now, so let's go with uh, old Magger right here. And he served this this cult well. May he rest in piss. Oh, witness Astaroth. Could witness this heavy attack. <laughs> okay, first boss of Anchor Deep is Bezelbub number two. Heavy attack. Oh, what? Did I kill them? Well, that did, but... <laughs> Saleos number two. I think they are going to instantly charge me, so I should... Oh my god, yeah, back up. But they're dead. Okay, and here is, uh, Abram 2. Heavy attack. No, 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 no! If I had just stayed still, I would have lived! Okay, this time, let's freeze them. Freeze them! So they don't kill me! I am panicking so bad. 
<laughs> that was such a bad fight. Okay, but we're out of here. So before we fight Calamari, we're gonna actually do something real quick. Since I keep one-shotting every boss and it's not fun, we're gonna switch back to the Yellow Fleece. Just because. And let's go on our murder spree for Calamari. And here we are, Calamar's door. Okay, skip this, and then Calamar time. I love when I purposely switch my fleece and still murder him in like three seconds. We're pretty much all done. The only thing to do left is talk to Maroka. So you completed your task, red crown, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what's happening? <laughs> and here is Narinder. What is this lamb? <laughs> Get out of here. And then the God of Death Fleece. I don't know who would ever use this after completing the entire game, but we're finished. Uh, yeah.